Yeah, I said I wasn't going to do rebuilds. We're doing a rebuild. We're kicking off FM23 with our first rebuild and let's get to it. Let's get past the... Yeah, I said I wasn't going to, but we're going for some more Wii Gun... We got Wii Gun. French focused content. So we're going to rebuild some French football teams and we're starting off with Saint Etienne. The massive, massive French club that's down in Ligue 2, which is phenomenal, being that they have 10 Ligue 1 titles joint now with Paris Saint-Germain, Marseille one behind, and because they're in Ligue 2 and PSG are so good, PSG are going to over overtake them. The plan is we've got 10 years to get them back into Ligue 1, to get them back up that table, and maybe we won't win Ligue 1, but if we can get them into Europe, that would be incredible. We can win a European Cup, even better. Big derby of Leon that we're missing. You've got people like Platini, Celtic hero Lubo Moravchik, the goalkeeper Jeremy Jano, like so many legendary names in this club. Lever are one of the biggest sides in France. The Stade, Geoffrey Guichard is a fantastic stadium. They need to do better and we're going to do that on this channel. We're starting off, look at the team. So we've got 10 league on titles, six Coupe de France's. The Coupe de la Ligue is gone. Three league do titles. Hope we add to that uh, this season, hopefully. Facilities wise, you've got excellent training facilities, great youth facilities, good, good academy, good youth recruitment, 42,000 seater stadium. It's in decent nick, refurbished in 2014, even after the World Cup in 1998 in France. It's one of the hotbeds of football in France. This team deserves better. Players wise, who are the big hitters? Well, we've got Sergi Palencia at right back. Looks fairly decent, doesn't he? One of the big boys is Mathieu Caffaro, Frenchman, 25 years old, good dribbling and crossing, decent physicals, all right mentals, he could be great on, he's going to probably play on the left hand side of the attack. Jimmy Griardon, centre back, 30 years old, again solid across the board, not spectacular, good enough for this level. Etienne Green, the FC Andorra legend, if you watch that save up there, uh, fairly good goalkeeper, he's a good man between the sticks, still only 21 years old as well. Then we've got the likes of uh, Macon, Briacon, Monconduit, all fairly solid options. As I said, we're in League 2, there is a three point deduction as well, so we have to overcome that and get ourselves into the top two to get that promotion spot. And the season preview kicking off before we do anything has us starting third. Four to one on, we need to get above Bordeaux and Metz. Here is the formation that we're going to run with. We're going for a 4 3 3 inverted winger. Inside forward, we're going to try the CM on attack, see how that gets on. We're going to let the wing back on the right fire down there because he looks like our strongest. We don't actually have a left footer in the defence, so we're going to go for Palencia uh, inverted wing back just to cover that role. And maybe then you could have, uh, they have the CM on the side with inverted, but this is what we're going to go with. Instructions there. If it does well, we'll maybe put it down, we'll see, we'll see how it does first. Looking at the squad, I would like. I'd like another forward, I'd like another winger. Uh, the fact that our two best centre mids are out on loan does not fill me with excitement. So we need someone in there as well. Yeah, we need we need midfield and two forwards possibly. And to do that, we have 300k. The transfer window was closed. The the, the headline news is we are we're, we're eighth. We have 10 points, we've won four games, drawn one lost two so technically we should be on 13 points that would take us into the top three some results have, have gone our way we we beat Valenciennes we beat Nîmes we started off a 1-0 win over Dijon so we've not done terribly bad we, we managed to bring in four players we brought in Papa Diop from Ibiza for 200k just someone who can play both the midfield levels Decent mentals, decent physicals, 36 years old, can still do a job in this level. Also in the midfield, we bought Julien Dessart from Ghent for 1.1 million again. Mentals decent, physicals okay, he's 28, like we could do better, but I thought we just needed... We bought him in before uh, Papa came in, probably wouldn't have taken both, but we actually have been hit by injuries, so it's probably good we had some bodies in there to fill up the squad. Then the two big ones on loan from Real Sociedad, the former Angers forward stroke winger, Mohamed Ali Cho, a potential wonder kid, decent physicals, he's quick, 
Composure's okay, off the ball's okay, dribble and finishing first touch, decent. He, he was as good as what we had and probably maybe down the line we can, if we can get him in at some point. And then from FCSB, after selling a couple of players, we managed to bring in Andre Cordea from Romanian Football Acceleration 16, that's what I liked. He's got dribble and finishing first touch, decent. Composure 13, uh, Visions 13 off the ball could be better. Uh, I probably didn't look close enough to that where I did it, but I think he's good enough for this level. He was a three and a half star, which is better than what we had. And I'm hoping coming off that right flank with his left foot, he is going to cause a lot of problems. We've come back at the World Cup break and St Etienne are sitting in 15 position on 30 points, just two points behind Bordeaux. We got in a really good run of six wins in a row, including a 2 0 win over Bordeaux. Goals from uh, Cafaro and Muhammad Ali Cho getting on the score sheet there. A 4 0 win against Gangom Ali Cho again. Charles Abbey, Cordea getting on the score sheet as well. 3 1 win over Socho with a hat trick from Matthew Cafaro. Really coming up good is the Frenchman on that left hand side. Mohamed Ali Cho has rewarded us for bringing him in alone. He's got 11 goals and 14 starts, 3 assists. Uh, Cordea with 9 goals, 2 assists, really been a danger off that right-hand side. Uh, we'll then go now to the January transfer window. I'm not sure we're going to get anything done. Our finances, we have no money. We're over our wage budget. Probably not going to bring him in. The bank balance still looking good. And our, the, the main goal is promotion, and we're on track for that as well. Remember when I said we weren't going to bring anyone in January? I lied. We've only went and signed uh, Yusuf Amikoko on loan from Dortmund, and he's ridiculous. And this one's what, what I've done is on the staff, uh, although I'm doing all the transfers, looking for like, getting the scout reports doing, going through them, picking players, no player searches. Uh, my director of football is also instructed to initiate signings and he initiated this one and i was like we don't have to pay him anything on the end of the season yes please makoku is in st etienne he he's played one game hasn't scored but i've got such high hopes for this guy he's going to fire us all the way to league do speaking of that we are top of the league one point ahead of dijon three ahead of Metz and third big wins over bastian social big win over neor that was Charles Abbey, who's done well as a sub scoring, coming off the bench and scoring goals. Big win there. Bastia was Makoku's first start, got a yellow card, but it was Cordea who saved us with both goals. And now the hope is with this stretch, with what we got, 17 games left, Makoku is the guy to fire us back into League 1. If I tell you that Makoku finished with 13 goals in 19 games and 5 assists, do you think we went up? Of course we did. Champions of League 2. Two points ahead of Dijon. We drew our last game against Valenciennes. Five points ahead of Metz. We went in a really good run. We won, what, five of our last six. Uh, Mikoku got two against Rodez. He also, we didn't score against uh, Gangomp, but we did. We still won. Ali Cho scored. He then scored against Kevli, who were the first team to beat us at the start of the season. 4 1 in a very weird game. Go from Makoku there. And then the game we needed to win the league, two goals from Yosef Makoku against Khan. We win the league and we are going up. And what's that here, you ask? What's the budget? 17.9 million. 17.9 million. Going to League on. We've got a budget, 100k to spend on wages. Hopefully that's enough to keep us in the top flight and then we build. We won't have Makoku joining us, but I hope you will join us for the next episode. We're going to do seasons two and three, all the way for two episodes, two episodes, two seasons an episode from now on. Bit of a longer one to kick us off with all the stuff at the start and all the, all the nonsense. Hope you're going to enjoy this rebuild. Where are we going to get to? Can we win the league on with St Etienne? Let me know in the comments below. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot of arm stuff. Do it with that arm as well. Uh, for me, Andrew, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.